Okay, everyone, let's, uh, it's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Uh, well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. What about you? Yes, I'll say the same. Uh, it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In the case, uh, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. It's a really weird thing, like clubbing. It's like this club stuff. I think clubbing is a completely different thing. But this club stuff is uh, like a very pressure inducing. I mean, clubs, as I've said before, I think in the second, third chapter or something, when I was talking about clubs, um, a lot different here than they are over west and towards the east to, in Japan and America and stuff like that, in the western countries and stuff. Because it's. Um, it's a thing where, you know, even if I joined like an anime club, it would be like you have to constantly watch anime and like be up on the new stuff. Because like now, I've, I haven't watched a single anime for like a year. That's one of the reasons why I haven't been making like the anime uh, reviews and whatnot. I was doing anime opinions um, a while back. I haven't watched any. I, I'm, I'm thinking about picking one. I even picked up like AOT season 4. And I was like, that's one of the ones that I was waiting for, actually. And even that, I only watched like five episodes. And after that, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll watch this later. I guess I've been busy with all other kind of stuff. But at the same, that's just an excuse. It's just that I didn't want to watch anything for some reason. So, yeah. Um, so, one of the things, like, if you get into something, you have to, like, stay on top of it. So, that's how, you know, this club stuff works. Um, so, I feel like even if I joined the anime club, I would be lagging behind and eventually the, like, the club would be like, you know what, you're, you're not even like part of this anymore, just like go to another club or some shit. So, yeah, it's a thing that you have to be really intrigued into something and like constantly be up about it. But I don't think I've ever been up about it every, every single time, everything. So, I'm gonna guess that it's best that um, I, I personally would not join a club if that were to be the case. Especially these type of clubs. The type of clubs that I've joined, we already talked about it, you should know. So, anyway, in that case, we'll do the same thing. We'll learn something about friends too, so the poems turn better, I think, to myself. And then luck, blah, blah, blah. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Yes, beams at me, truly. Yeah, yeah. They say it's annoying, 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 enjoying whatever she, she, she said. Let's skip everything. Let's get to it. Alright, so we need to go for a Natsuki again. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so here we are. We are done with all of uh, Natsuki's 20 choices. Now the day passes. Time for club meeting again. It's gotten a little more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, we all do the same thing. Yo, Saru, looks like you're in a good mood today. And she is definitely not. See, that's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. I guess it's always the simple things for you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, yeah, she has the same thing. But you shouldn't take snacks from others and should not. Is, is yeah, Natsuki going to show out this time? Um, let's see if Natsuki is going to show up. Don't feel guilty. Yeah, okay, so Yuri shows up. Uh, Natsuki does not. Natsuki is going to show up later, I'm guessing. Wasn't listening, Yuri. That's don't get me involved like this. Besides, you should only buy what you affordably afford. Blah blah. blah. I didn't mean that I got too absorbed. Uh, that's there's no way you could think that. You're right though. I did something bad, and I have to accept the revolution, <laughs> retribution. That still coming from you, Sari. I guess uh, that's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Well, I know about that. So I'm guessing, uh, you know, uh, Yuri. Um, what is her, what is the name again? Monica didn't add the bullshit that was inside Yuri. I'm guessing um, Monica just enhanced it. Like every one of us have like a darker part of us that was enhanced in this case by Monica. I'm guessing that's the case. And sh she should show up and throw a cookie at her any moment. And that was it, I think. A cookie, giant cookie. And there she goes and she's gonna get behind her and grab her cookie as well. Uh, let's see, I'm just I'm gonna skip it. Okay, boyfriend? No. What on earth are you talking about? Quickly, quickly glances at me. Oh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Piano lessons, right? Uh, nope. She was studying. Also, she was practicing piano. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's skip through this. Okay, 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 okay. I need to go back. Load. Fucking hell, why does this always happen? Yes, load. I'm gonna skip through this. I'm gonna get through this all the bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. There we go. Last period is in the study hall. Yeah, this and that. And she's gonna talk about the piano and shit and that. Uh, shit like that. For me, once in the place, cool, cool, cool. When I get the new shit, uh, new, you know, skills, then I will show you the piano. Which she did show me. It was a pretty good piece, I'm not gonna lie. Is, she, is it playing at the end? Oh, so that's the piano version of what I'm listening right now. Um, 
Anyway, I never really noticed that. I thought the piano always played when we started. Right, it's a flute that plays when we start this. I, w I always thought there was a piano. I didn't even pay attention that it was a flute. And that was a piano that we listened to at the end when Monica deleted the entire fucking game. Um, but anyway, I haven't practiced a whole lot. I would love the chance to see you ready once you're ready. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose to leave Sari's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like any everyone has settled down. Sarisama has uh, already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her books. Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Let's go in the closet as well. It's not long before Natsuki comes up to me expectantly. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I kept my promise. I pulled the first volume of the Parfait Girls out of my bag. That's a cringe title. I've never even ate, consumed a Parfait, so I won't know what it tastes like anyway. Uh, Natsuki takes it from my hand and then quickly turns it over, presumably check for wrinkles. Yeah, I'm not that careless. I manage manga all the time, you know. I just wanted to make sure. Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know. That's true. I don't blame you. But anyway, let me put that this one back. I'm gonna get the next one, okay? Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. So you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Uh, what did the first volume leave off again? I forgot. Uh, the chapter ended with my, uh, Minori and Alice found Monica. Natsuki's voice resonates from inside the closet, huh? Appear inside. All of Natsuki's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did he move my manga again? Alright, she moved him on the top shelf. How is she gonna get there? Ah, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in a closet. What does what she teach? What, is, what does the teacher care? What does she do in here? Does she want the, all the books up top so they'll fall down on her when she fucks in here with her, like, boyfriend or some shit? Uh, so I had to uh, move some stuff around to clean up a little bit. Still all there, I just had to organize it a bit. The top shelf is far from Natsuki's head. She makes a little futile hop trying to figure out how to reach her manga. That's fucking hilarious. Jeez, oh, this is all. This is so inconvenient. I'm moving the, these all back down. There's plenty of room, for, room on these shelves and besides... Uh, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Uh, why would you waste that on the top shelf, uh, Natsuki? That's a, there's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsible tool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, you can reach up there and hand them... If you want, I can reach up there and hand them to you. I can get them myself. Natsuki grabs the stool from the wall and unfolds it. Uh, you think I'm short too? I'm too short or something. I mean, <laughs> I knew it. But you know what? I Just watch me. Natsuki hops on the... Is she gonna fall back and we're gonna cra cra catch her in the most cringiest way possible? Natsuki hops onto the tool which ends up uh, being a little wobbly because of her collapsible design. Um, careful. I know what I'm doing. Standing on the uh, stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. Just the fingertips? How small is she? Does she come up to here? And then like the... Well, even with the stool, her only her fingers are touching the top. Oh, maybe this is the top shelf. So she's he this tall, and then uh, with the stool, she's this tall. So her fingers are only reaching here. What the fuck? Or maybe this is not to scale or whatever, considering it's back behind her. Still, she's really small. If that's the case, um, but it'd be enough to easily grab the books. But Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. The stool would be enough to for me to easily grab the book. But Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. So even our boy does not reach the top, so he needs the stool to get to the top properly. And she would only get her fingertips to the top shelf. Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller boxes edge of the shelf. See? And she fell. Oh, that's a cute face. I don't know why this, this image creeps me out for some reason. That there's emptiness and there's nothing on the screen. Maybe it's because of uh, um, Monica, because she in the last section literally just looks at the screen and doesn't do anything. The box suddenly tips. Uh, Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. Uh, stool wobbles. Alright, losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she's she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. She actually grabbed it? Holy shit, that was amazing. She fell down, she still grabbed it and was standing. There, having almost fell, Natsuki is a bit shaken up. Jeez, no need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get the bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... I said I can do it. I don't want your help, okay? Alright, I'm gonna get a chair, so just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Let's see. The classroom chairs have desks attached, so they are too inconvenient to, uh, to fit in. Wait, wait, wait. The desks are attached to the chairs? I mean, our desks are attached to the chairs because they're literally the same fucking construction. But I didn't think that their chairs were attached. I mean, in the anime, they're always, like, detached. I don't, I've never seen one where they're attached. So, okay. Ah. Natsuki trots over the teacher's desk where, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls. Oh, that's probably not a good idea to stand on. I have stood on those chairs before for one reason or another, don't ask me. Uh, and they are wobbly as fuck. Now, uh, she rolls it on his. <laughs> I just remembered a fucking scene. I was literally sitting on one of those chairs, right? I literally was sitting there. 
you're talking to someone or just like rotating it left and right it's like simple sitting just how you normally sit on fucking computer chairs and shit not and i don't know why it literally snapped in the fucking like the middle section in the bottom and it like literally like wobble and boom and i was like on my fucking back on the ground it was like I, I, of course i had the chair i was sitting on so obviously when i hit the ground my my, my back didn't straight impact the ground it hit the i was on the chair still so the top half of the chair just came off i was like holy shit what the fuck was that at first i thought i was just wobbling a bit too much and i was like boom straight on the ground like holy shit that was loud and uh, that was it was ridiculous as well <laughs> i was laughing about it for like a whole day for some reason uh, she rolls it back on um she rolls it on his wheel back over to the closet ah it's a little dangerous and the uh, chair swivels and rolls really can just grab the chair from behind if she's being that stubborn but I've already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. Uh, Natsuki uh, climbs onto his chair, then slowly balances on her feet. And since she refuses my help, I take a seat. Uh, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. Uh, there we go. Okay, that is a cute CG. Not gonna lie, that is a cute CG. So she's standing on a. Is it one of those that doesn't have a back, just or like a doctor swivel chair? Is that it? I don't know. Uh, there we go. See, I can easily do it now. Natsuki grabs a stack of manga, bends down to put it on the shelf below. And there she goes, and the chair swivels, and Natsuki catches herself on the uh, desk. What are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? That's what I was saying, that's what I was saying, fucking hell. Um, who was it who told me not to help? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. I hold the chair so Natsuki uh, reaches back up. I can I can almost see up her scared, na uh, skirt, nice. Uh, uh, I force myself to turn away. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through. When she realizes, I will be dead. Natsuki wraps her arms around the parfait box set, easily the largest one on the shelf. Uh, heavy. Hey, blood. I don't think I can bend down uh, without falling. Hurry up and take this one. Huh? Uh, but then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up. You can just use one arm and just like balance it on one arm, then like let go and just grab it. Hurry up. All right. Uh, let me just stand up. Let me just stand up. What are you sitting down to grab the chair? What the hell is happening? What type of chair is this? It said a swivel chair, so I'm gonna assume the simple office chair. Um, but this is kind of weird. Why is he sitting down? Slowly release my grip on the chair. What do you mean stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? Oh, so he was standing behind the swivel chair, which would allow him to see, uh, you know, her panties. So he, instead of just looking away, he just sat down to fucking hold the chair so the chair would be in his way not see the panties that's such a convoluted way to do it natsuki looks like she just realized something uh, but she'll lose her balance if she moves natsuki the box what are you looking at nice that's cute that's cute not gonna lie the color the color on her tongue is not that good though what are you looking at uh, you're trying to look at my my natsuki's leg shake i'm not i was just natsuki don't try to move just give me the box y you purr you said she set me up. <laughs> That's good one. Go away. Get out. But I'll do it myself. And the chair suddenly swivels when he underneath uh, Natsuki's feet. Natsuki, <laughs> he's still screaming. The scene turns to chaos in a split second. The chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. Frantically try to catch her. The box topples out of her hand. The books go flying. I got you. And crash. The full force of Natsuki's body thrown against, uh, against me throws me to the ground. She's not that like big. From the look of her, she looks like she's 45 or 50 kgs or some shit. I shouldn't like push you off or some shit. A uh, whole bunch of books uh, pelt me in the face. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms on her face. Lands straight on my chest. What? Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms as her face lands straight on my chest. Alright. Uh, my right arm and my back seriously felt the impact. That's an interesting... I thought we would get a CG, but I guess this is one way to show that she's closer to me. That's kind of cringe, but alright. I'll, I'll use this as a thumbnail, fucking hell. Um, ooh, suddenly Natsuki comes to her senses. Is she gonna uh, fucking knee, uh, knee, her, knee him in the nuts or some shit? Because that's something that does happen in anime and all that. She presses her arm straight into me to prop herself up. Huh? Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that she's beneath, that's beneath her. Uh, gross, gross! Uh... A fist pounds into my chest. She literally punched him in the chest. Fucking hell. Natsuki then hoists herself up to her feet. What are you, what are you thinking? You sicko. Everything okay over there? I heard a loud noise. Monica suddenly peers in. Monica. See what happens when you put manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Jeez. 
Oh, see, actually, she didn't go for, like, this guy, a pervert, and he did this and that, because that would be difficult to defend against, considering this world is extremely biased towards that sort of lawsuits. But anyway, 